in the attainment of self-knowledge self-control. These four steps are the identical like the natural scientist. But the method is reverse the mind rather than being centered upon external things. It's turned it's turned back upon itself and therefore the investigations are pursued within the realm of the mind or at first's own mind rather than in this of matter. Initially the searcher for divine knowledge is confronted. Thereupon massive desires, passions, emotions, ideas and intellectuals which he calls himself, which is that the basis of all his actions, and from which his life proceeds. This mixture of invisible yet powerful forces appears confusedly. A number of them stand apparently in direct conflict. with one another with none appearance or hope of reconciliation. His mind in its entirety to together with his life which proceeds from that mind, doesn't seem to own any equitable respect to many other minds and lives about him. And altogether there's a condition of pain and confusion from which she would fain escape. Thus he begins by keenly realizing his state of ignorance. For nobody could acquire either natural or divine knowledge if you were convinced that without study or labor he already possessed it. With such perception of first's ignorance there comes the need for knowledge. and also the novice and self-control enters upon the ascending pathway during which of the subsequent five steps. One, introspection. This coincides with the observation of the naturalist. The mantle eyes turned sort of a searchlight. upon the inner things of the mind and its subtle and ever varying processes are observed and thoroughly noted. This stepping apart from selfish gratifications from the excitements of worldly pleasures and ambitions in order to watch with the thing of understanding One's nature is at the beginning of self-control. Hitherto the person has been blindly and importantly born. Along by the impulses of his nature. The mere creature of things and circumstances. But now he puts a check upon his impulses. and rather than being controlled begins to regulate to self-analysis, having observed the tendencies of the mind. They're then closely examined and are put through a rigid process of research. The evil tendencies people who produce painful facts are separated from the great tendencies people who produce peaceful effects.